Yo, what's going on, Cowboy fans? It's Big Slam back with another video about your Dallas Cowboys. And it's so funny, man. The NFL is such a juggernaut that the season is never over, man. It always is rolling and rolling, and everybody wants to talk about it. That's all I saw on Twitter today. That's all you're going to see on ESPN and NFL Network is free agency starting tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern time, I do believe, is the time that teams can start signing free agents. Now, they can already talk to them and negotiate deals and things like that, which we're hearing rumors already about guys signing, going to sign here, going to sign there. So it's it's fun this way. I kind of like it this way instead of the old way where you couldn't announce or talk to any of the players until the day free agency started when guys were signing on the dotted line at 12.01 in the morning, the day of free agency. And it was just a joke. Like, these guys weren't talking with other teams in that time frame. So it's fun this way. I like to do it this way. But let's get into the Dallas Cowboys free agents because I'm going to tell you right now what the Cowboys aren't going to do. They're not going to go out there and blow the doors off free agency and sign big-name players for big-time money, man. They've made mistakes in the past. I think Stephen Jones and Will McClay have kind of rain jerry in a little bit and uh are like free agency is not the way to build a team jerry if you need a piece here or there you can go out and get it in free agency to fill a need but that's not how you build a team you build it through the draft and that's what this team has been doing the past few years i like the direction they're heading in even the season they had last year let's just you know it's just a wash here you know what i mean romo goes down des is hurt Things are not looking good, and the division was still there for the taking, you know, right up until the very, very end almost. But uh, anyway, let's let's talk about the Cowboys free agents that I would like to see back in the Cowboys uni, all right? And you guys chime in in the comment section. I'd love to know what you guys think about this as well. So uh, here we go. All right, guys, Mackenzie Bernadou. Mackenzie Bernardo, however you want to say his last name, I like the guy. I think he's a good football player that could fill in at the guard positions if need be. You get an injury for a few weeks, a couple weeks, whatever it may be, he could step in and fill the void for a couple weeks. I, I think him being on this team adds depth to the team for sure, and I, I would love to see him back. I think he's important. Not like crazy important where if we lost him, we're like, oh my God, we lost Mackenzie Bernadou. What the hell is this team going to do without him? No, it's not like that at all. You know what I mean? I just think he adds good depth to the team, you know? Now, let's continue on. They got a couple guys' names on this list that I've never even heard of, all right? So I don't think they're going to be big-time players for the Dallas Cowboys. I'll throw a name out there for you right now. Now, maybe you guys heard of him. Charles Brown, offensive tackle. I don't, know, I don't know anything about the guy, to be honest with you. So we'll just skip right over him, and we'll go right to Matt Castle, our backup quarterback. Guys, you want Matt Castle back? I don't. Goodbye, Matt Castle. I don't care what happens. You're a good dude, man. I read a lot of good stories about you. Um, you just couldn't win. You couldn't win for us, and we need winners on this team, all right? Now, as we all know, Tony Romo's the heart and soul of this team. So when he went down, I mean... We really knew what was going to happen. I didn't think it'd be as bad as it was, but we knew what was going down, all right? So goodbye, Matt Castle. Here's what I want the Cowboys to do as far as their backup quarterback goes. Get a, a veteran free agent, a younger guy who's just kind of out there, uh, like a McCoy or something like that. I think he would be a good fit just to be the backup. Because let's face it, guys, Romo goes down again. It's over again. What does it matter, all right? Now, as far as the draft goes... I'll get to the draft and with a fourth pick at the end of this because quarterback kind of fits into that topic. But uh, let's move on from Matt Castle. Let's talk about Morris Claiborne, all right? I want this dude back on this football team. I think he is a pretty good cornerback. Now, if he comes at the right price, they'll sign him, I believe. I hope he wants to be a Dallas Cowboy. I know their relationship was kind of rocky ever since, uh, you know, he basically got benched for Orlando Skandrick two years ago. He kind of walked out of Valley Ranch all pissed off, left practice, all that good stuff. So hopefully they were able to patch that stuff up. And I thought he was going to come back last year and be one of the better players on this football team, which he was for the first, like, half of the season. He was playing really good football, man. 
and I would really love to have him back. We need corners, okay? We got Brandon Carr, Skandrick's coming back off a knee injury. Who knows how he's going to be? I hope he comes back as the player that he was, but you never, never know with these knee injuries. I really hope Skandrick can come back very strong, and I hope it's alongside Morris Claiborne and, yes, Brandon Carr on the other side. Even though Brandon Carr was a high-priced free agent, he's played pretty decently for the Cowboys. Nothing great because he never was great. He just got paid great, all right? <laughs> so let's move on from Morris Claiborne. You got Jack Crawford, who I think is a must sign for this football team. We need defensive linemen on this football team. We need him bad, and he's a pretty damn good one, all right? I would love to see him back on the Dallas Cowboys. I don't want to see him walk away. Uh, bring him back. All right, now we can go to the fullback, Tyler Klutz. Goodbye, Tyler Klutz. We can pick up a fullback anywhere. I feel like you were a waste of a roster spot. Not talking about the person, just the football player. Just how I feel, all right? <laughs> Let's move on. Lance Dunbar, man. Guy's a free agent, and he tore his knee up last year, and that was a really, really sad thing to see because the guy was really coming into his own, had everything to prove last year, and blew out his damn knee. I would like to see him back. And there's another running back on this free agent list. Robert Turbin is also on this free agent list. So you're not bringing both of them back. I would rather have Lance Dunbar back in this team than Turbin. I think Lance Dunbar has deserved to have another shot if nobody else picks him up and gives him a shot. I think the Dallas Cowboys should, and I think they will. I think Lance Dunbar will be back on a one-year deal, um, depending on if he can even play and come back off of his knee injury, which, I mean, these things usually take a year. So we'll see what happens with Lance Dunbar. James Hanna, tight end. You guys probably are like, who cares? He's the third tight end on the, on the football team or whatever. And I would really like to see him come back. Dude can block very, very well. And he's that sneaky guy on like third and three who can sneak off the line of scrimmage and go get you a first down every now and again. I like him. I think he should be back. I think he's a good depth guy to have as a third tight end. Now, I think you guys know how I feel about the next guy I'm about to say. Greg Hardy, defensive end. And I say good riddance to the guy, man. He was a, more of a headache on this football team than he was a help. He really, really was, man. And great football player, not a great person by any means. Um, I don't want to get into it too much, but just him, you know, with the, with the woman and all that nonsense, I, it, that's just horrible, first of all. The Cowboys give him a second chance to come back and play football, and the guy's pushing the special teams coach, slapping the clipboard out of his hands. I mean, getting in arguments on the sideline, just exploding, just being weird on social media. I mean, who really needs it, all right? I, I say good riddance to him. Uh, he wasn't that much of a help for us last year anyway, okay? So let's move on right now. We got Nick Hayden, defensive tackle. Bring him back. He's a pretty good football player. He can add depth, especially if you draft a defensive tackle or a defensive end who's pretty damn good football player. You always need these guys. You need to be able to rotate these guys in and out. The more depth you have with good football players, the better off you're going to be, obviously. So I say bring Nick Hayden back. Now let's move on to linebacker Rolando McLean. Rolando McLean, he seems like he plays when he wants to, but when the dude wants to play, he is damn good. Now, I know he was suspended last year for the first four games, all that good stuff. Um, he is a damn good football player, though, and if he could get motivated, if this coaching staff can motivate the shit out of him and even just lace his contract with incentives um, to, to be the best football player he can be and get paid as much as he, can, he really wants to get paid with incentives. I think that's the way to go. But we need linebackers, man, because Sean Lee's always getting hurt. Uh, to have depth at the linebacker position is very important. I know two years ago we had linebacker depth out the ass. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't keep all these guys, and they kind of funneled around the league. One's in Atlanta. One was in Jacksonville, I think. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but you get the point. I say bring him back. Let's go with Jeremy Mincy, the defensive end. What I just say about the defensive line, we need as much help as we can get there. And Jeremy Mincy's a good football player, okay? Let's not mistake that. He is a good football player. He needs to come back to this team, period. Now, let's get over to Kyle Wilber, the linebacker. I say sign Kyle Wilber immediately. Linebacker, depth, Sean Lee, hurt. Rolando McClain, always hurt, too. But that's just the way it goes with these guys. You need these these guys like a Kyle Wilbur to fill in depth. 
and that's just the way it is anyway guys this video has been pretty damn long covering our own free agents we didn't even talk about really any other free agents so let's talk about the fourth pick of the draft real quick i'll touch on it a little bit but we can get into that in a later video now i don't want the quarterback i think tony romo has at least three years left to play jerry jones says five i say three because i think that's way more realistic all right i really think that three years is way more realistic than jerry's five years but why would you draft a top five quarterback if he's not going to play for the first three years of his career now maybe he would anyway because romo does get hurt a lot but if you think this is a win-now team, which I do, we were 12 and four a year ago before this disastrous season. Why would you sign? Why would you draft a quarterback like that? Doesn't make sense to me, and uh, that's just where I stand on it. The only other thing I would say is uh, Lamar Miller from the Miami Dolphins. I kind of wanted him, and there's been rumors that he's been talking with the Houston Texans, and it looks like a deal might get done with the Texans. Now, as you're watching this tomorrow, you may already know all this information as far as lamar miller signing with the texans or whatever but anyway guys if you made it this far into the video i truly truly appreciate it thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and if you're new hit the subscribe button if you guys could leave me a like on your way out the door again greatly appreciated thank you so much see you on the next one peace